walking with Jesus every day, every moment with Him. His power and presence is changing my life from within, and my life is transformed by His power, and my life is transformed by His grace. And my life is transformed by the words that he speaks over me as I look on his face. Today I choose to follow you. Jesus, I will follow you. Today I choose to live for you. Jesus, you are all I walking with you good evening everybody and welcome to another hour of prayer and worship good to have you with us again this evening as we together we are a great company of people in different places but in one intercessory prayer group seeking God's face and tonight we will be continuing to base our prayer points on scripture and this month we are praying through uh, praying along with the, the intercessors in the Bible some of the great intercessory prayers in the Bible we're praying along with don't forget if you need personal prayer you can contact our 24-hour prayer center either by telephone or by email and again we'll be hearing some more answers to prayer things that we have seen God doing here in our midst in the church because he's a prayer answering God so um, today then we're going to be praying through a prayer or basing our prayer points um, on an intercessory prayer which is probably the most moving prayer in the Bible. It, it is such an astonishing intercessory prayer that it's very difficult to be able to understand how someone would be able to pray this kind of prayer. And it's a prayer of Moses and we find it in Exodus chapter 32. And um, let me just show the background because the prayer is very short. It's only about one sentence, but it is the most astonishing prayer. And the situation is this, that Moses has brought the children of Israel out of Egypt. So they have seen uh, the, the plagues of Egypt. They've seen the amazing miracles that God has performed uh, amongst the Egyptians. They've come out of Egypt. They've been laden with gold and silver and all sorts of things that the Egyptians gave them, just said, take this and go. And they've come through the wilderness. They've seen God provide them supernaturally with um, food, manna with water. And they've, they've gone through the Red Sea already and uh, seen um, the, the amazing miracle of the, the parting of the water and the destruction of the Egyptian armies. And they've already... At Mount Sinai, they've made an, a covenant with God, a binding covenant sealed with blood, which is the Old Covenant, the Old Testament, where they've made this promise. God has said, I'm giving you my, my holy laws and rules and regulations. Are you prepared to keep them? So we're about to enter into a covenant. Tell me, are you prepared to do that? And they said, yes, everything you say we will do. And they entered into the covenant, and then Moses went up Mount Sinai. And he, he's there for six weeks. And during that time, just six weeks, 40 days, 40 nights, just, just six or seven, uh, yes, he's up there. And whilst he's up there, the children of Israel, they say, where's Moses gone? We've lost him. So they say, let's make a golden calf, which will be our God. And in such an astonishing short space of time, they have forgotten everything that they've seen, experienced, and they've turned back to worshipping an idol. So Moses comes down the mountain. He's so incensed that he breaks the Ten Commandments that God has given to him. And the serious thing now is that God says to Moses, Moses, I've had enough of these people. They are so rebellious, so wicked. I want you to stand aside. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to destroy all these people, two million, two and a half million, whatever it was. And I'm going to make a new nation out of you. I'll start afresh with you. I'll make a new nation out of you. And so 
here, here is Moses and he's standing before, between God and the people. And judgment is about to come upon the entire nation of Israel, this new nation of Israel. And Moses see, it sees the implications of it. And, and so he prays. And this is the prayer that he prays. So Exodus 32, and um, in, verse, in verse 32 also, uh, start at verse 31. He says, Oh, what a terrible sin these people have committed. They have made gods of gold for themselves. But now, if you will only forgive their sin. And then there's a, a dash there. He pauses because he doesn't know if it's possible. But if not, erase my name from the record you have written. Now, what Moses is saying is this. God, please forgive them. They, they sin so wickedly. But if it's possible, if it's only possible to forgive them because uh, by erasing my name from your book of life. In other words, Moses is saying, I'm prepared to be eternally cut off from you if that will mean their forgiveness. So that is, um, he's saying, I will prepare to go eternally to hell if it means they will save these people. Now, what an astonishing intercessory prayer that is. And we see a similar prayer in, in Romans chapter 9 where the Apostle Paul says something very similar. He says, I wish I myself could be cut off and accursed from Christ if it means that my countrymen, that is the Jews, would be saved. So these are astonishing intercessory prayers. Who could pray the prayer, I'm prepared to go to hell, if it means these wicked people will be saved? And of course, Moses had nothing but headache from these people. And Paul had nothing but headache from, the, from those who were opposing them. And yet this was the prayer they were prepared to pray. And so um, an astonishing intercessory prayer. Well, of course, it wasn't possible. They could not die to save the people because both Moses and Paul were also um, men who, who, who were not perfect. But there would come one who would die in the place so that we could be saved from, from going to hell. And that, of course, is that would be Jesus himself. But this, this is an astonishing prayer astonishing prayer. So we're going to be praying now as Moses prayed for his nation, as Paul interceded for, for his nation. We're going to be praying for our nation today. We're going to intercede for our nation because our nation has turned its back on God and the, the breakdown of society all around us has um, terrible consequences. But we're going to pray because the only thing that can save our nation is for God to move in revival. For there to be a move of the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, we're just going in a downward direction that's completely lost. So today then, we're going to be praying, interceding for our nation. Moses prayed for his nation, as did Paul. And we're going to join in and do the same. So let's just um, open in prayer right now. Heavenly Father, we just come before you and just pray, Lord God, move our hearts to intercede for our nation, we pray. In Jesus' precious name, move our hearts, O oh Lord God. Let us be a people who will intercede at this time of dire crisis. Spirit of the living God, even this hour, Lord, help us in our intercession, we pray. In Jesus' precious name, amen. So we're going to start by declaring in song that he is the God of miracles. We need a miracle in our nation, but he is a God of miracles. And so let's just declare, first of all, uh, in song and in prayer, he is the God of miracles. Their faith in life, despite what I see, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief, I choose to trust you. No matter what I feel, their faith arrives. Their faith arrives. Champions not dead, he is alive. He already knows my every need. And surely he will come and rescue me. Gonna sing God of miracles. Oh 
miracles come oh God you are a God of miracles Lord help us overcome any unbelief or doubts there may be in our hearts and our minds that faith may arise in us oh God that we may know the supernatural love of God in our lives oh God God come we pray oh God God of miracles, come, O oh God. It is you that we need, O oh God. God, for those who need salvation, O oh God, we pray that you will save them from their sins, O oh God. God, we want to say thank you, Lord. Those that need a miracle of God in their lives, even today, Lord Jesus. God, we pray, let faith arise, Lord. Let all our doubts, O oh God, and our unbelief, Lord Jesus, be knocked out of our lives, O oh Lord. We pray, bring our lives into alignment with your word, O oh God. O oh Jesus, we want to say thank you, Lord. Yes, dear God, Almighty Father, God of miracles come. It is you that we need, God. We need the supernatural love of God, O oh God. We just say thank you to you, God, that we are in covenant relationship with you, Lord. The new covenant that you made with us, Lord, by shedding your precious blood. Lord, we are your covenant children, O oh God. We are your sons and daughters that you bought us with your blood. Hallelujah, Jesus. We say thank you to you, Jesus. You are the one that we want, O oh God. God of miracles is what we pray for, O oh God. We say thank you to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. God of miracles come. Now indeed, as we've been singing the song, there are a few people who have shared how the, uh, Jesus made a difference in their lives when they came to know him as the Lord and Savior of their lives. The first brother said, before I met Jesus, my life was so unfulfilled as I did not have a sense of direction. I was born into a Christian family but never really knew Jesus as the world would was uh, as the word of God was drowned out of my life by the various challenges that I faced. So that word never really got into him because it was like the seed falling in us, on our hearts, but there were worries that were choking them, challenges that were choking that seed. I met my fiancé who brought me to ECC, and then I truly found God. Then he obviously rededicated his life to Jesus, invited him into his life to be the Lord and Savior of his life. Before that, he said, I did things in my own strength, and now I depend on God who brings me comfort and hope. Hallelujah, this is so amazing. And not only that, God, Jesus has been my guide, my healer, my deliverer. Praise the Lord. There's another brother who shared his testimony. He said, Every, everyone thought I was a cool kid on the outside, but inside I was really very, very empty. 
I came to know Jesus through a Christian friend at high school. Today, I found purpose in Jesus and happiness in life. I'm working full-time and also serving Jesus, whom I love. And he sacrificed his life to save me and forgave me of all my wrongdoing so that I can have a personal relationship with my maker. Another person said, Jesus Christ has forgiven me of all my sins. Before I knew Jesus, I did not understand what it meant to feel free and safe in him. I came to know Jesus Christ through my husband and listening to him pray. And today, I have self-worth and I feel whole with a purpose in life. I feel so fulfilled and, and also I'm a better parent and a wife. Thank you, Jesus. He is so good. He saved people. He changes our lives. He's indeed a God of miracles. The biggest miracle of all is a miracle of salvation. So we thank God for saving these people and the way they're going on in Jesus. And they're right here in our church. So we thank God for their lives. And just one more. Jesus died on the cross for all my sins. He paid the penalty and now I have eternal life. I grew up as a Catholic but my friends, she did not have a relationship with the one and real God. And my friends took me to ECC and I gave my life to Jesus. Before my life was a negative spiral and I had so many anger issues. I, oh, I was always an angry person. And, um, and sometimes I was making bad choices. Since I given my life to Jesus, my faith in him has developed and also, I, I can, I'm able to love people, she said, because God has put his love in my heart. And also, my health has improved uh, a lot, she said, ever since she gave her life to Jesus. So this is some of the testimonies of people who were not believers at one time, but then came to know Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of their lives, and their lives have now changed praise you Jesus perhaps you are already a believer in Jesus Christ and and there are some changes you still praying God just transform me change my heart oh God in this or that maybe different things that you that, that are really troubling you maybe attitudes maybe certain habitual sins maybe certain things in your life that are holding in bondage if that's you let's pray together that the Lord will help you break free of those things that you can walk in freedom in Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's pray for you and for anyone else who may have similar problems. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we pray, oh God, sanctification goes on all through our life, Lord, until we come to see you, Lord. We are transformed from day to day, Lord Jesus. By your Holy Spirit, you're changing us from the inside out and making us more like you. Lord, for those things that are not right in our lives, that are troubling us, that are still holding us in bondage, to things, oh God, that are grieving your Holy Spirit. Lord, we pray that you will just knock them off our lives, oh God. Dig them out of our lives, oh God, because we want to surrender to you, Lord Jesus. Just bring those things to the Lord and surrender to them to the Lord and say, Lord, I do not want that in my life, or I do not want that attitude. I do not want that sin. Just just be be of um, uh, adamant, be forceful, be persistent. Say, God, I do not want it. And then you see that that thing breaking off your life as well perhaps in stages sometimes or might just happen just like that father we pray god for those things that are being brought before you lord jesus we pray god maybe attitudes maybe a certain sins oh god almighty lord we pray that you break them off oh god over their lives lord and help them walk in that freedom that you want them to have oh god thank you jesus Amen. Amen. And let's continue to grow in Jesus from day to day, daily being renewed by the Holy Spirit of God. <clears throat> we go on, to our go on to our first prayer point. Lord, have mercy on all those we know whose names are not yet written in the book of life. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, so that whosoever believes on him shall not perish but have eternal life. You know, while this is true, we say this a lot as well. We read out the scripture. There are many people who do not even know who God is. 
Many children today, many perhaps young adults, people who do not know God, they don't believe in God, and also, um, you know, don't believe in Jesus. Some people haven't even heard of, about Jesus. So let's pray for people that they will come to know Him, that they will come to know Him, that that uh, God will show them mercy. Even some of the stories that I read just now were people's life transformed. They were people just like us who did not know Jesus, but now, now they know him. So bring their names up before the Lord now, and let's pray together for them. I'm sure all of us have got someone that we can pray for at this prayer meeting. So you call out the name before the Lord. Just bring the name before the Lord. Focus on the Lord and the name before you, all names, and pray for them. And let's all pray together. Lord Jesus, we pray, Lord, show your mercy, God, upon those whose names are not yet written in the book of life. Oh, Jesus, have mercy upon them, oh God. Show your mercy upon them, God. Open their eyes and their minds to the truth of the gospel, we pray, oh Lord Jesus. Those people that we have already witnessed to, Lord, that the eyes and minds will be opened, oh Lord Jesus, to the truth of the gospel, oh God to the truth of your gospel. Make their ears open up, O oh God. O oh God, unstop their ears, Lord Jesus, that they will be able to hear the truth, O oh God. Hear the word of God. Hear the truth, O oh God, and that it will go deep down into their hearts. And Lord, they will want what you have to offer, Lord Jesus. May they, may they repent of their sins, O oh God. May they come to know you as the Lord and Savior of their lives. Lord Jesus, we pray as well. May they come to know peace in their hearts, Lord Jesus. God Almighty Father, Lord, even as they repent, O oh God, that the peace will come into their hearts, Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray as they repent, O oh God Almighty, may they see the demonstration of your work in their life, Lord. May they see the transformation happening in their lives, even as the stories that I just read, O oh God, the changes that took place, O oh Lord Jesus, their lives being transformed, O oh God, to become more like yours, to live, O oh God, purpose lives, O oh God, lives that are purposeful, O oh God. Lord, that they may know your plans and purposes for their lives, O oh God, because there are some that we know, God, who are destroying their lives, Lord Jesus, because, God, their lives are so empty. They do not have you in their lives, and they're just searching and looking here and there and all in the wrong places. God Almighty, have mercy upon them, O oh God. Soften their hearts, Lord Jesus, that those that we are bringing before you, God, will truly repent of their sins, O oh God, will truly repent of their wrong ways, O oh God, their old ways of life, Lord Jesus, and they come to know you as the Lord and Savior of their lives, that their lives may be transformed by the power of your Holy Spirit. O oh God, Almighty Father, we pray your mercy upon the names that have come up before you, Lord Jesus. doesn't matter in what bondage or sin they are in now, O oh God. Lord, it's partnering with you, Holy Spirit. It's your Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the living God. It's you who changes hearts. It's you who bring conviction of sin upon them. All we're doing, Holy Spirit, is to pray for them. And it's you, Holy Spirit, that change their lives, transform their lives, bring conviction to them. So we depend upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. And may the Holy Spirit of God continue to rain down upon you and upon the unsaved people that they will come to know Jesus. Let's declare this in song. And Holy Spirit Change our hearts. 
Holy Spirit, we just need you to rain down. We need you, Lord, to rain down on our nation. Lord God, unless you come and move in our nation, Lord, we have no hope. So Holy holy God, we pray. Lord, come in all your holiness and awesome power. Lord, rain down upon us. Spirit of the living God, we pray. Bring a change of heart and mind to our nation, we pray. In Jesus' precious name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So as we come to our next prayer point now then, we're going to be praying for our national leaders and politicians. That You know, the Bible tells us, pray for those in authority over you. Pray for those who lead you. And when those words were written in the Bible, it wasn't talking about Christian leaders. These were non-Christian leaders, pagans, um, those who, who had no thought of God and, uh, and often acted in very immoral ways when, when these words were written. Um, and Paul said, pray for them so that you might have peace because the gospel can spread much easier in that way. So in just a moment, then, we're going to be praying for our, our leaders. But before we do that, we've got some prayer requests that have come in. And um, somebody's asked us to pray. I, I'm having bad dreams. I keep having uh, terrible dreams at night. Will you please pray for me? Um, this is somebody who knows Jesus, but um, who's asked for prayer. So right now, we're just going to pray. I know this is a common problem. There are people who, who are disturbed in the night, not just by the occasional dream, but, but on, on a constant basis. So we're going to pray first of all. Uh, if, if anybody, if you're part of this prayer meeting, and that's a problem that you have, then we're going to pray for you right now. Or if you know somebody who has that situation, or if you don't, then you just join with me as we pray. But we're going to pray right now. Um, for, for, for people to sleep well. So another prayer request we had in a different context. Um, I want to be able to sleep soundly at night. So let's just pray right now um, for anybody in that situation. So Father, we just lift up before you right now. Anybody, Lord, who is identifying with this prayer request because they are troubled at night, Lord, by bad dreams or unable to sleep. Well, we just come before you right now in the name of Jesus Christ and we, we pray, Lord, help them help them. We just take authority over everything that would disturb their sleep. Right now we bind it in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that would bind their sleep, we bind, uh, that, that would trouble their um, sleep, we bind it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And we cut off from them anything. We just pray, Lord God, that you, you, you would just be uh, a, a wall of protection around about them. We pray, Lord, that you'll station your angels around about their bedside. Lord God, that nothing will disturb them during the night. Pray for this particular person, Lord God, and anybody else who's identifying with this prayer request. Lord, we commit them into your hands right now. And just pray, Lord, for your peace, Lord, to be upon their hearts and mind. Lord, that whenever they lie down at night, Lord, they will sleep well. Not to have a disturbed night in Jesus' name. So if if you're in that situation, just put your hand on your head right now. And Lord, we just pray for anybody who's putting their hand on their head right now. We just pray, Lord, that your spirit would just touch their mind and touch their brain, Lord God. For we are both physical and spiritual. Touch their brain, touch their mind. And Lord God, we pray for peace as their head hits the pillow, Lord God. And Lord, that they will sleep well. Anybody who's troubled, Lord, identifying in this dream, Lord God, we pray that you would give them peace in their sleep. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. And other prayer requests, we've got um, a number of people asking, will you pray for jobs? praying not just from this country but from other countries as well they're telephoning in because the current pandemic pandemic is, uh, is, is worldwide isn't it so um, so we're going to pray for you right now so if you are looking for a job so these particular prayer requests say please I'm seeking a job will you help me 
help me find a job. So right now, if you're in that situation or if you know anybody, please name them by name because we are interceding. That is, we're praying on behalf of others right now. So just pray for them right now. So Father, we just lift up before you anybody, Lord, who's identifying in this prayer request right now who's seeking a job. Or maybe they're seeking a change of job. But Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, as they look to you, we pray, Lord, that you would um, provide for them at this time. Lord God, we know it is a difficult situation, a difficult uh, time, Lord, in the nation and in the nations. But Lord God, you are able to provide divine favor. And so, Lord, we just pray for divine favor, Lord, upon each one now who is looking to you in prayer, uh, this prayer request. And we just pray, Lord God, touch them right now, Lord, and Help them. Open the door for them to find a a good job, we pray. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. And as we come to our our prayer point right now, this is the next prayer point, we're going to pray for our leaders. So um, we're going to pray for those who govern us. We're going to pray for the the different political parties because although we have a government uh, that's made up of the majority of MPs, um, those who make the laws are actually the House of Commons and the House of Lords together they make the laws and um, over the over the recent decades they've made some very ungodly laws so let's intercede on behalf of our nation Moses was able to say and Paul was able to say God I'm prepared to have my name erased from the book of life if it means that my nation will be saved well that is a an awesome prayer to pray but we can stand in the gap right now so let's stand in the gap of our nation and let's bring our politicians and our all the political parties that make up our lawmakers um, before God right now. So Father we just lift up before you Lord our parliament. We pray Lord for the Prime Minister, we pray Lord for the cabinet at this time we pray oh God that you would give them wisdom even if they are not looking to you oh Lord God we pray that nevertheless you would give them wisdom for our nation anyway to make the decisions that we need. But, oh, Lord God, we just pray, help them at this time. Lord, we pray for them as your word tells us to do. For those who make the laws, for those who lead in making of the laws, the government, we pray for. Father, we pray for all the other political parties in, um, in Parliament. We pray for the Conservative Party, Lord God. We pray for the Labour Party. We pray for the uh, Liberal Democrats. We pray for the Scottish Nationalist Party. We pray for the Northern Ireland parties. We pray for the independents and for the Greens, Lord. Everybody who makes up the House of Commons, Lord, we intercede on their behalf right now. Oh God, will you just do something, Lord, in our Parliament, we pray. We, in the House of Commons, we pray, Lord God. Lord, pray for all those amongst the MPs who are born-again believers, those who know you. Thank you for them, Lord. Lord, but they are few and far between. But we pray for them, Lord God. Let their influence be um, greater than their numbers, we pray. Lord, let them help them to punch above their weight, we pray. And Lord, use them for your glory, we ask in Jesus' name. Help them, Lord, to be influential. Lord, when it comes to making laws, in Jesus' precious name. Oh, Lord God, we pray. Help them, Lord God, we ask in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. And let's just bring the House of Lords before God as well. They don't have the same power as the commons, but they do. They are significant and influential. And Thank God there are born-again believers in there as well, but let's pray for the House of Lords now. So, Father, we lift up the House of Lords before you. Lord, the second chamber uh, in our parliament, we pray for them. Thank you, Lord, for those who know you and love you and who are in the House of Lords. Lord, use them for your glory as well. Thank you, Lord, for those who, who initiate prayer meetings in, the, uh, in parliament. Lord, bless them and use them, Lord God, and let their influence, their salt and their light, Lord, um, radiate through through. Through, that, um, through the palace of Westminster, we pray. Use them, Lord, for your glory. Spirit of the living God, we pray for the Lord's Lord, that you would help them, Lord, that you would cause them, Lord God, to uh, be a break on bad law and on immoral law. And help, Lord God, there to be a move of your spirit even in that place. Lord, we lift up the palace of Westminster, the commons and the Lord's. Lord, and we just pray, Lord, break the spiritual darkness over that place in Jesus' name. Lord God, we, we, as a, we intercede for our nation, Lord, and that is the heart of our nation. We intercede, Lord, and we pray, break the chains, Lord, that bind 
our parliament, Lord, that blinds their eyes, Lord, to you and to godliness. And Lord, leads them down a pathway that is ungodly. Oh Lord, have mercy on our nation. Have mercy on those who lead us. And Lord God, we pray that you would just do something new in our nation. Lord, let this pandemic and the trouble that it's causing cause our, our government, our parliament, and the nation, Lord God, to turn to you, we pray, in Jesus' precious name. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. So right now, we're just going to focus on Jesus. We're going to pray in song, and, and we're going to pray um, with these words. We're going to sing the name of Jesus. There's no more powerful name than the name of Jesus. So right now, we're going to sing the name of Jesus over our nation. Then 
We sing the name of Jesus. We sing the name of Jesus over all. Lord, it's your name that gives us hope. Your name that gives us life. We thank you, Lord, for this power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. And we sing the name of Jesus over our homes, over our children. Oh, our city, oh, our boroughs, oh, our places of work. Lord, your name is awesome. Your name is powerful. Your name gives life. Your name gives hope. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There's power in the name of Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. We say thank you to you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Even as the second wave of uh, pandemic, uh, COVID-19 spreads across this nation and even in our city, in our boroughs, in our local towns, let's pray for, for the key workers now, the key workers, the doctors, the nurses, the hospitals, for God's protection upon them because some of the nurses have put in uh, this request, even from our church, that God will protect them over the second wave. And, and God will keep them safe as they nurse the patients because they're getting quite busy now. So let's pray for them, for God's protection upon them in Jesus' mighty name. Lord Jesus, we pray, God, for those even of our church and, and from those uh, elsewhere, Lord, who join this prayer meeting, God, right across this nation, oh God. There are people who have been so active at this time. All those, the key workers, oh God, the doctors, the nurses, those who are working in hospitals, Lord Jesus, we pray for your divine protection upon them, Lord. God, keep them bold, keep them strong, O oh God. Even as you did that in the first wave, O oh God, how you looked after them. You brought them through, Lord Jesus. God, we pray for your divine protection upon them in Jesus' mighty, mighty name, O oh God. Lord Jesus, we pray, God, for the nurses that are fallen sick. God, we pray, Lord Jesus, for their nurse, oh God, who's got damaged lung at this time, even with COVID. Lord, we pray for your protection upon her, God, that you'll bring her out of hospital safely, oh God. Bring your healing anointing upon her, God. Lord, we pray for your immune in system, oh God, to, to kick in, oh God. Lord, for immune system to become strong, God, for the virus that is destroying her immune system, God. Lord, fight for her, Lord Jesus. We pray for her to have a good immune system that she come out of this COVID-19, oh God. Lord, bring healing to her, Father. Lord, and we pray for, for ourselves now, for our families, for our children, oh God, for your divine protection upon them even as they go out, Lord Jesus. Protect them in every way, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Hallelujah, Jesus. God, and we pray, Lord, for people of this nation, God, including ourselves here in ECC and everyone else, O oh God, to, be, to walk safely, Lord Jesus, to live safely, God, to follow the government uh, guidelines and not to ignore them, O oh God. It's for our own safety. So, Lord, we pray for wisdom as well at this time, God. That you give us wisdom, O oh God, even as we live in these troubled times, Jesus. God, we need you, Lord. Surround us with your blood. Protect us with the blood of Jesus, we pray, O oh God. And keep us strong and healthy, God, even as we uh, come through, God, it, through these winter months now, Lord, with the colds and flus and things that are going around. Father, grant us your divine protection, O oh God. Keep the church healthy and strong. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, O oh God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We go on to our third prayer point, which says, We confess the sins, God, we confess the sins of our nation. In your mercy, forgive us and cause the nation to come to its senses, repent and turn back to you. Oh, may we confess the sins of this nation today, that this nation will repent and turn back to God. May God have mercy. 
mercy upon this nation. And as we all know, United Kingdom is in deep decline. We have social and economic trends and UK statistics reveal a nation with its rising crime and family breakdowns and drug addictions and all kinds of uh, knife crime, gun crime, you can name those, and debt problems and, 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 and also uh, spending money, uh, wasting money is another thing as well going on in this nation and also all kinds of abnormal sexual behavior, immorality. Let's pray for this nation and let's ask God, let's confess the sins before God and say, God, forgive us and turn this nation back to yourself. Let's pray. It's a prayer for all of us just to join in and pray for this nation at this time, for God to show his mercy on this nation at this time. Lord Jesus, we forgive us, O God. Forgive this nation, O God Almighty, for we have far gone far away from you, O God. Doing things, O God, that have broken your heart, O God Almighty. Lord Jesus, as, as uh, Lord, your covering is not upon this nation that way, Lord, because of the sins of this nation, O God Almighty. Lord, we pray, Lord, forgive us, O God. We've done things in the way, God, that, that we wanted to do, God, that the nation wants to do, O God. So many crimes around about God Almighty. People with knife crime and gun crime and so many murders and killings. God, forgive this nation. Forgive us, O God, we pray. Bring us back. Bring this nation back to his senses once again, O God. Lord, may holiness dwell in this nation, O God. Forgive us, O God. For, for those who are involved in drug addicts, uh, addictions, and all kinds of gang crimes and all that, all kinds of selling drugs and s such like. God, forgive this nation, O oh God, we pray. Break the spirit working over this nation, O oh God, the spirit of darkness, O oh God. Lord, that people's hearts and lives will be turned back to you, Jesus. Lord, we pray, God Almighty, forgive us, O oh God, for the abortions, for the 8 million plus abortions that have taken over in this nation over the years, O oh God, where even as abortion act was allowed. God, oh God, we pray, forgive us this nation, oh God. Forgive us, oh God, for such a sin, oh God, for taking life so lightly, Lord Jesus. Forgive this nation, we pray, God. We come before you, God. Forgive us, oh God. So much blood has been shed, oh God. Forgive this nation of immorality, Lord Jesus. All kinds of immorality, Lord Jesus. We pray, God, all kinds of perversion in this land. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Father, forgive us, oh, God. God, we pray for this nation, oh God, to come back to its senses, oh God, to repent, oh God, to ask your forgiveness, oh God, to turn away from their wicked ways, oh God, so that healing may come into this nation, oh God. Oh God, show your mercy to this nation, oh God. Lord Jesus, show your mercy, O oh God. Forgive us for the sins that we've committed in this nation, O oh God. O oh God, and turn this nation back to you once again, O oh God. O oh God, remove the spiritual blindness from this nation, O oh God. Holy Spirit, come down upon this nation once again, that this nation will turn back to you, Holy Spirit. O oh God. Oh, God, show your mercy, God. We pray for the mercy of God upon this nation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We have nowhere else to go but to you, Jesus, even at this time, oh, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And, Lord, we wait in expectation for what you will do in this nation, oh, God. Even as we pray, our voices, Lord, doesn't fall on deaf ears. You are hearing our prayers, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I surrender all. Let's surrender our lives to Jesus as we declare this in prayer.
Oh Lord, as we've been praying in song, I surrender all. Lord, let that be our experience, we pray. In Jesus' name. Lord, that we hold nothing back from you, but Lord God, we surrender everything to you. In Jesus' name. And so as we come to our last prayer point right now, we're, we're praying this as we're interceding for our nation. Um, we're praying, help us not to be complacent, but rather give us a burden to pray and to intercede for our sinful nation and cause your church to rise up in power to turn the people back to you. So we can just be complacent and we can just go along with everything that's happening and just leave things as they are. But God has put his church here to be um, someone to stand, those who stand in the gap between the judgment of God, which is coming without doubt, and the people who are blind to the reality. So we're going to pray right now. We're going to pray, Lord, give us a burden, first of all, to pray as a church. Give us the persistence to pray and give us the faith to believe that um, as we pray, things are going to change. Because there is no alternative to a move of God. Unless God moves in our nation, then we're a lost cause. And you only have to look back in history to see how nations rise and nations are cast down. And this age is, is, is no different from any other age in history, except that we're moving now towards the end times where things will get worse and worse. So let's intercede now. Let's ask God, Lord, let us not be complacent, but let us intercede. So let's pray for us. We're praying for the church now. So the church of Jesus Christ. Let's pray right now. So Heavenly Father, we just ask, first of all, you put a burden on our hearts. Lord, put a burden on the heart of your church to pray. Oh, Lord God, life can be so busy that prayer, Lord, can be an afterthought. But, oh, Lord God, we pray. Lord, we know that when you want to move in revival power, you get your church praying, first of all. And so, Lord God, we ask that you would get your church praying and interceding. Holy Spirit, put that burden on the hearts of every individual, Lord, who knows Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord in our nation. Lord God, that we can have that burden to pray and to intercede and to seek your face. Spirit of the living God, we ask in Jesus' name. And also, Lord God, give us the persistence, Lord, that we don't just pray a one-off prayer, but Lord God, as we understand the seriousness of the times that we live in, the seriousness, Lord, of the situation round about us, not the COVID, but the, the sinfulness of our nation and the direction we're going in. Oh God, give us the persistence to pray, we ask. Let us keep on praying and keep on praying and keep on praying, oh Lord God, until we see a break in the, um, the darkness that is overshadowing our land, the spiritual darkness that's overshadowing our land. Oh God, let us have a burden to pray and let us have a persistence to pray. We ask in the precious name of Jesus, oh God, until we see change happening. Lord, history shows us that you can break in, Lord God, to the most godless of nations. And Lord God, we pray that you would break into our nation as your church seeks you, Lord, with the burden and with the persistence to pray. And finally, Lord God, we pray for a faith to believe that we're not just speaking words into the air, but, Lord God, that every time we intercede, Lord, something is happening in the spirit realm, Lord, that we can see with our spiritual eyes, Lord, the spiritual battle that's going on over our nation. And, Lord God, every time we intercede, individually and particularly, Lord, as we pray together and intercede together, Lord, that there is a, uh, a, a hole punched through the darkness, Lord, to the light that is beyond the other side. Lord, we pray that as our prayers, intercessory prayers keep coming up, Lord, let holes be punched into the darkness that covers our land and Lord God let the darkness be dispersed Lord God and let there be a move once again of your Holy Spirit we pray in Jesus precious name oh Lord God let your church rise up in power and in the power of prayer and intercession because Lord Satan can do nothing in the face of an onslaught of powerful prayer in the name of Jesus so Lord we give you thanks in Jesus name Amen. So we're just going to con conclude right now with a, another declaration in song. And we're just going to be praying in song. Lord, open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you and we, we want to see the, the seriousness of, of what we're praying for now. So open the eyes of my heart, Lord. 
I want to see you. And as we see you, God, may we rise up in intercessory prayer, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.